previously on Next Level Chef. You'll be cooking with game meats. But only one can keep their team safe. That dish was the wild duck. Yes! Let's go, Shay. Let's go. Get the dishes up, guys. Platform's here. How did this happen again? The dish that I am eliminating tonight is the one with the pistachio crust. Cassie. Oh. Tonight. Nathan, tell them what they're cooking. And this week's cook won't be a cruise as you infuse oh. a dish with oh. food. Moonshine. It's explosive. Stand back. Stand back. Listen up, it is time for mid-round mayhem. I don't know what to do with these. You just bought your ticket right into elimination. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. There you go. Come on. Let's go. OK, I need to tell you something. We've been saying it since day one. You're only as good as your last dish. <coughs> and no matter what level you're cooking on, a next level chef should always be striving for excellence. <coughs> and right now, I think all of you need some inspiration. What the hell is going on right now? Is this a joke? <laughs> What's happening? There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a belly of tea. The winds blew up her bird up down all below my belly boys go. Now I see Nathan Evans, he come around singing the weather song. I'm like, oh, I know this song. I start dancing. Soon may the weather man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. That song is like a TikTok sensation. I start jamming, I start singing along. Nathan, tell them what they're cooking. And this week's cook won't be a cruise as you infuse a dish with booze. The next level plate is what you want, Doctor, to cook off your food. Soon when the platform comes, grab your produce, you'll need to run. Rum, wine, liquor or beer, a drunken dish, now go. Amazing! When I hear that the challenge is going to be an alcohol-based dish, I kind of panic a little bit. Being 19, and obviously I don't drink alcohol, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. Teeny, you went crazy because you recognize this man, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the accent. <laughs> no, I just like this accent. I have a boyfriend. Tell me, you good cook? If it goes in the microwave. Oh, come on. Um, I'm come amazing. On. Oh, give it up. Nathan Evans, Evans. Well, <laughs> Woo! Woo! Great job. Ah. Good luck, Nathan. Great job. See? Another Scottish sensation. <laughs> OK, listen carefully. When that platform comes down, you must grab a protein and you must grab an alcohol and incorporate it across your dish. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Team Blaze. Maureen's winning dish last time has secured us a place in the top-level kitchen. Go up there and smash this challenge. I'll see you up there soon. Yes, sir. I love cooking with booze. I want to be the best dish on the team. Let's bring it on. All right, welcome back. Let's do it. Welcome back. Team Ramsey, we lost Cassie from our team last week. So we're in the basement again. Let's get ourselves out of there. Yes, Chef. Absolutely, Please Chef. head to the elevators. I'll meet you down there shortly. Good luck. Come on. Let's see you, Chef. Let's go. Come on. I want to get out of this basement so badly. We are down to four. We cannot lose anybody else. I need y'all to taste whatever the frick I grab. No problem, I got you. What's up, baby? Right, Love this go. place. This All is right. it. All right, team. Thanks to Shay, we are heading to that middle level kitchen. Please. So bad. Let's go, guys. <gasps> Let's do this today. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. There we go. Hey, baby. Let's go, guys. Let's okay, go. baby. There we go. You want right here close to the platform? I'm not joking. No, do you mind? No, go ahead. Hey, uh, thank you. Last time, I didn't get my plate on the platform. Okay, oh my side. God. Come on, baby. I can't. Come on, baby. I really want to prove to myself that I can do this, that I won't let the time get the best of me again. Location is crucial for me today, yes. okay? Yes, yes. Good luck, girl. Thank on, you. Let's, yes. Let's go. Yes. 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 
Come on. Let's go, guys. Yes. Come on. Let's go. We're coming. We're coming. Okay. How are you feeling? A little nervous, Chef. Uh, Good. Nervous about what? Tell uh, me so I can help you. I don't have a lot of experience with alcohol, so... I don't know what I'm going to do for the platform draw. With alcohols, I don't know any of the flavors, like which ones are sweet, which ones are strong, which ones are high quality. And so I'm kind of flying into this one blind. I definitely want to see some flambe today. The flambe part is really important to burn off the alcohol. Good, Chef. But we have to be careful. That is super important, yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, you're probably used to, what, moonshine? <laughs> Facts. I'm a bourbon guy all day what long. What would you do with bourbon? Drink it. <laughs> 45 minutes. Earth. Make every minute count, right? Yes, chef. Theme of the day, alcohol. Chef Arrington comes out. I can see it in her eyes. She's like, don't f this up. All right, let's go. All right, Team Blaze, let's line up. Are we feeling good? Yes. yes. It is so advantageous to be on the top floor today. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Please don't let any of those amazing spirits and any of that alcohol and any drop. of those amazing proteins drop. Growing up Muslim, I've never tasted alcohol or cooked with alcohol, so I'm looking forward to cooking with it for the first time and actually seeing what happens to my food chemically. Let's go. Line up. Line up, please. All right. Platform is on the way. When it's green, it's go. Go. I see a ribeye. There's a filet up there. Go for it. Uh, I run to the platform and I start grabbing. I got ribeye steak. I want red wine. Lots of great proteins up there. I see vodka. I see tequila. There has to be red wine. Hi, there's a filet. Uh, Okay, bourbon, that can work. I want the bourbon, I want All the right. bourbon. Out of the corner of my eye, I see port wine. Three seconds. So I grab the port wine, and I'm holding a bottle of port wine and a ribeye steak. You can still grab it. If you can get it, it's ours. Okay. I wanted short rib and a red wine, and I didn't get either. Worst grab of the competition. Here it comes. Go. Grab, grab. I tend to be a little more reserved during the grab. Fresh, beautiful herbs there. Because I'm not a pusher and a shover. Get an alcohol and grab a protein. However, today, I fight for what I want. I went for the hanger steak. I grabbed whiskey. I love a whiskey glaze on a steak. Don't over grab. That's a good grab today, baby. Let's go. Good job. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Grab, grab, grab. I'm sprinting over, and I see Think about it. Protein, alcohol. A filet mignon in the basement? Think about it. Right, Grab ingredients. Alcohol. Moonshine. moonshine. I, 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 Any white wine, guys? I've kind of heard about moonshine. I've heard that it's just really, really strong. I just kind of looked and saw the first alcohol there was, and so I just kind of grabbed it. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab, oh. grab, 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 grab. Yes. Well done. <laughs> I'm so excited about my grab. I mean, sea scallops to the bottom of the basement. And I have no idea what they're doing up there. Thank you, top level. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Yeah. What'd you grab? Swordfish. Good, beautiful. So that takes two minutes to cook. Yep. Alcohol, what'd you get? Dry sherry. Dry sherry. Ooh, okay, yeah. why? Yep, last one left. Chef Ramsey agreeing that pairing dry sherry wine and swordfish is going to be quite a challenge does not make me feel comforted. That sherry was on the bottom for a reason. I don't. I know it doesn't go well with, with swordfish. So. No. I mean, maybe a sherry butter sauce. Um, it's a tough one. Yes, okay. it is. Uh, good luck. Right, young man. What did you grab? Uh, instant potatoes. Uh, lamb rump. Moonshine. Moonshine. Why would you grab that? You can fuel a vehicle with moonshine. This is useful. Get it really nice and pink. We'll take it out and glaze the pan with moonshine. That's the base of your lamb sauce. Yes, sure. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a gnocchi uh, out of these instant potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. The gnocchi from Instant Mashed Potatoes is inspired by my dad. Um, he has taught me throughout life that you take these simple ingredients that you can find at pretty much any grocery store and make them into something elevated and gourmet. Moonshine, tough on that. Right, Tucker. Yes, chef. What did you, oh my goodness, stop it. The filet? Oh. Man, come on, the filet. <laughs> yeah. How did that How end up make it here? I don't know, chef. The filet mignon is like, the Lamborghini of proteins. I don't know how she fell to that basement, but clearly it was meant to be mine. Uh, alcohol, what'd you get? Uh, rum. Wow, I mean, this is next level. I'm gonna do my best, okay, chef. Okay, it sounds like all those ingredients should have stayed at the top, okay? I'm amazed. We had a filet mignon, a rump of lamb, hand-dyed scallops, swordfish. I never, ever, ever imagined those ingredients would drop. And I promise you now, I am not losing another cook tonight, let me tell you. All right, team, let's go. 
How are we doing? What are you making? Not too bad. I'm going to do a pan-seared salmon skin and everything. I'm going to do a nice spicy sweet potato puree. We're going to do a white wine kind of riff on Bourbon Blanc. And then we're going to do the chilies in with the sweet potato puree. Okay. Just don't let time run out on you. I won't. Okay? Don't worry. I'm going to keep Go. it simple. Yeah, good, good. All right, Teeny, what's up? So I got a bourbon, so I want to do like a barbecue-ish kind of um, bacon jam. And I got blackberries, too. I want to make a sauce with that. You got an idea. You got an idea. You're feeling clear here. All right, Maureen. How are we doing over here? Hi, oh. I'm getting a pasta dough ready. I think I'm going to fry the chicken into a chicken tender and make a green vodka sauce to go with that as well, some sort of sauce. I definitely could have looked for a better protein, but I was very set on making a kick-ass vodka sauce. Just make sure that these aren't like chicken tenders on top of pasta. I think absolutely. you really want to work this in, OK? Absolutely. Okay. I'm here to taste for you if you need. Thank you so All right, much. You got it. Absolutely tough grab. Chris has got white wine and salmon. Okay, that's going to work. But Chris has got 93 ideas. Marine took chicken tenders on the top level with vodka. Chicken tenders? We're hanging out in a parking lot in Cincinnati. Not a top level pick. I'm worried for her, and that's uh, rare. Um, potatoes, Matt. Potatoes. What's the matter? I didn't get potatoes. And the star of the dish was gonna be these creamy, delicious, beautiful potatoes. Damn it. That's it. I'm like, how are you gonna get back to this? Okay, Matt. Yes, How chef. are you feeling? You seemed disappointed a couple yeah. seconds ago. Yeah, Why? tough What's grab, up? chef. Tough grab? Yeah, I know steak, and it's okay. going to be the most beautiful piece of meat they put in their mouth. I missed potato. I wanted a mashed. I had a beautiful concept for that. So stupid. It was a 30-second grab, and I have nothing in my hand. Very little veg to work with. A bottle of port wine and a ribeye steak. I'm, like, mentally preparing myself to be in the elimination. Make the carrots beautiful. Yep. Steak, carrots, bordelais sauce. Thanks. Let's go. Matt is freaking out. He doesn't have a starch. You don't need a starch in every dish. This isn't 1978. <sighs> Listen, I want to bury Naisha and Gordon underneath. Someone's got moonshine down there. Let's keep them down there. Let's go, guys. Tell me about your dish. What's the game plan? I'm um, thinking like a brandy glaze on the Cornish game hit. Yum. Yeah. You did a great job on that guinea fowl last time. Thank you, chef. Keep it up. Thank you, chef. What did we grab on me? I've got a, a nice, beautiful bass and some really beautiful vegetables that I intend on roasting in the marsala. Wow. Amazing. I want to make it. Sounds delicious. Shay, what'd you grab? I got halibut, some sake. Beautiful. Honestly, I'm seeing a next level from Shay. He's hustling, he's focused. The time that I have to worry about with Shay is in those last moments and him putting those dishes on the platform. Shay has one speed and that's Key West time. He needs to move his ass today. What'd you grab, Nori? Uh, I grabbed some beautiful Spanish bronze. I'm gonna make a nice, beautiful pasta. Tequila's not super strong. A lot of that flavor is gonna go really well. It's very smart of you. I'm confident today, Chef. This is my best grab yet. Love to see it. Yes, Chef. April, what's your game plan? I have a hanger steak. I'm gonna make a whiskey marinade. We like whiskey on our steak in Alabama. I grew up in the South, and that's where I have lived my whole life. The whiskey and the hanger steak, it reminds me of home. It's something that I know what to do with. Right, young man, what oh, you got? That's good. Nice mirin with some scallops. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Right, and so I'm you got throw a rice wine there. It's very, very strong. It's very sweet. And I'm going to finish off with a nice shave of the orange over the top. Good. You're going to make a nice butter sauce. Warm that nicely. Yes, yes chef. Um, Ex-Navy man, right? Yes, chef. You had to be very disciplined, and that's... Yes. That's what brings to this kitchen today. Having a son in the Royal Marines. Yes. That uh, is our elite force of the Navy. Trust me. Thank you, by the I way. understand the way. Discipline. Yes. Bring that to your cooking. Yes, Chef. You taste and I'll taste. Hey, delicious. I promise you now, no one will know that was made from instant mash. It's a great idea. Don't overcomplicate it. At times, I can be kind of scatterbrained. Like, I'm going too fast for my own good. Look at me. I do solemnly swear. I solemnly swear I will not overcomplicate my Love that. Change, Watch baby. those yeah. results. Let's go. Uh, I've got a kid in here who's never drank before. Can he cook with moonshine? I doubt it. But what he has done is made these amazing gnocchi from instant mash. Powdered mash and the gnocchi are exceptional. So, sky's the limit.
30 minutes left. Everyone feeling good, Team Blaze? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Okay. We're going to stay up here? Yes, yes Chef. Okay. Please, please, I would like to buy it instead of renting it. Listen up, it is time for mid-round mayhem. Ask and you shall receive. What we need is a little starch to soak up all that alcohol. Let's go. <laughs> Get the out of here. The only thing starch means to me in my brain is freaking potatoes. Mid-round drop. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Plantains! Plantains! Oh, <laughs> Okay, what do you do with plantains? Guys, do you know what sailors use for starch? Plantains. <laughs> grab your plantains. It felt so good to just be able to grab plantains. I'm from Puerto Rico, and I felt like I was home. Three, two, one, grab your... Plantains, let's go, guys. Go get them, let's go. Michelle, let's go. Let's go. Plantains, sherry, wine, and swordfish. Jesus knows those flavors are not going to go together. Moonshine, it's explosive. Stand back, I don't want that hair ruined. Yes, Off we go. Go, stand back, stand back. Stand back! Yeah. Let it burn off, let it burn off. Leave it, don't leave, don't blow on it. Don't give fire oxygen. And I see a little flame coming up over my pan. Fire in the hole. My dish towel is in the flame. Off on fire, into the sink. Into the sink, don't bang it. Oh, God. Water on it. Go, quick. Water on it. Water on it? Yeah, I'm not calling the fireman for a clock. Fire's out. Thank you. Vamos a hablar inglés. I know you're happy about plantains. Never have I ever been Hey, Barbie. never have I ever. What do you plan to make with your plantain? Tostones. Oh my God. Al ajillo. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Let's go. Vámonos, vámonos. Vámonos. Che, I gotta say, I love that you're close to this platform right now. Uh, <laughs> I chose my location wisely, Smart Chef. Smart man. Smart man. April, what's the plan for the plantains? Chef, I am. I cannot think of anything to do with dried plantains. You better think of it quickly. I don't know what to do with these. I do not know what to do with these. How are you feeling today? I'm trying to be controlled. You are in the control of your destiny, okay? Yes, You're the maestra, right? You're the artist at work. You have to own that, yes, okay? Chef. Do not put the safety of your team in jeopardy today, okay? Yes, Chef. Let's go. I am sure that Chef Arrington wished that she would have ground a whole plantain as well so that she could have whacked me over the head with it. The one person I'm worried about in this kitchen right now is April. She's like a deer in headlights, like she has no idea what she's doing. And I need her to cook her southern roots. She's the best when she does that. You're not pureeing that, are you? No, I'm gonna puree these guys and I'm gonna, gonna have them. Why did, you, why did you dice these to then you're gonna puree them? Just to, so it went quicker. Well, it was such a beautiful dice, though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So what are you going to do with the plantains? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have these guys go in the fryer, have them roasted like the traditionally are, and I'm going to just toss like a spicy or black and seasoning. Love it. Love it. Let's go, Team Blaze. Seven minutes to go. I want to get this fish in. Can I Look get Look at me. I told you how long to cook. Four minutes. Right. So I'm you've just still nervous. got five. Well, hey, do you want to go home? No, I want then to stay. Then don't put that swordfish in. Richard, Naisha, open up and it's dry. Got I'll wait. Put out the door. I'll wait. And get some composure now. Yes, Chef. Right now. After the red snapper fiasco, I was not ever going to put that fish on until Chef Ramsay said go. That piece of fish took how long to cook? Three minutes. Yeah. Slow down a touch and listen. Yes, okay? Chef. I cannot serve another dry fish. I need this to stay really juicy and delicious, especially after the last time that I cooked it. Come on, April. Chef, Come my on, April. favorite steak has a sweet, crispy onion on the top of it, and I think this would make a good topping to add some texture. Okay, start thinking about bringing these dishes together. Five minutes left, only five minutes. Five, heard. Show them why we're in the top level today. We're struggling a little bit, but we can do this. We need to keep Gordon Ramsay in the basement.
minutes to go. We yes, can. Yeah. Let's go, guys. It's time. I can finally put the fish in the pan. I drop it in, and I know that the oil isn't hot enough. It's not sizzling the way that we should hear it sizzling. Get it out. It's not hot enough. It's not hot enough? I can hear it. Get it out. It's not hot enough. You're going to boil the swordfish, for God's sake. This is why I didn't want to wait until the last four minutes of the challenge because of things like this that always happen in the kitchen. Like, now there is no room for error. Two minutes remain. It's time to start plating. Make your plates beautiful. Think about it when you're plating how it's going to eat. I know that this dish is immaculate. It's having seasoned well. Skin's great on it. I've cooked it perfectly. It looks fantastic. And the white wine burn blanc is absolutely on point. I'm hoping that I can get top dish on this one. Seriously. Expectations are high because we're on the top floor today. We want to stay here. You're heading to elimination if you miss the platform. Here we go. The chef. Platform's here, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 15. Let's go. Good man. Go, 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 go. Go. Go, go, go. Quick. Let's go. Well done. Platform's here. 15 seconds. I'm not missing the platform for anybody. 10, 9, 8. I got it there, OK? 3, 2, 1. Good job, Good job. guys. Let's go, guys. Platform's here. Coming over. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I watch the platform ascend. And I look back. <laughs> My burp long sauce is staring at me like, hey, over here. You forgot me. Uh. What's up? Burp long. You just bought and punched your ticket right into elimination. Is that all it took, was bringing Nave and Evans in to inspire you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Honestly, the dishes look great. I'm blown away. Should we uh, dive deep into the basement? First of all, I'm amazed that filet mignon, a swordfish, hand dive scallops, and a rump of lamb made it to the basement. Uh, right, this is the rump of lamb. So this was made with moonshine. Please dig in. I love the complexity in this dish coming from the beautiful soft pillowy gnocchi. That's fantastic. And the crunchiness that's coming from the plantains. He did a beautiful job. Clearly. Involving that sort of lamb jus. You with tasted the, the moonshine? I did, yeah, man. It kicked my ass. Here's the game changer. The gnocchi was made out of instant mashed potato. Well, I mean, pretty ingenious move. I mean, like, that's, it gives me inspiration. Lamb is cooked wonderfully as well. I came here to be inspired by them, and for them to be saying that I've inspired them with a dish, I was like, don't cry again, don't cry again. This is beautiful baby scallops, and then finished with this hot sauce sriracha butter. I cannot believe this came from the basement. Look at the plating alone, I love this. This is a big, flavorful dish for such a tiny ingredient. This is a swordfish darn that was beautifully seasoned, marinated, and a dry sherry butter sauce. This one in the pan with three minutes to go. Absolutely phenomenal. This is a great example of mid-rare, beautiful swordfish. I could not imagine anyone in their right mind ever putting those ingredients together, but surprisingly, they like it. OK, I'll take it. I did it. <laughs> This is a filet mignon with a beautiful caramelized rum. A little tostada going on. Steak is cooked great. This is a, an amazing way to elevate plantain and showcase it. Shall we move to the middle? Please. So here we have hanger steak with a scotch whiskey and a plantain crumble with a rustic potato puree. Sadly, the hanger steak is overcooked because it's very, very tough. And um, feels a little bit sort of lazy, just crumbling the plantain on the top. You're not using that whiskey to its full potential. Yeah, it's not a cohesive dish. I mean, the dish didn't really come together. I do not want to see plantains again at all. I do not want to go back to elimination. Next up, we have a bass. This is cooked with marsala wine. Wow. And tostones. Wow. Uh, the bass is cooked beautifully, whoever cooked that. Where's the sauce? I don't taste the marsala at all in this dish. 
Next up, we have Cornish Game Hen. Uh, the chef grabbed brandy for their alcohol. It's finished with a uh, roasted potato and also a plantain mash. Delicious. Um, this individual is plating like an angel. It's plating that we're used to seeing in the finale. Chef Ramsay saying I plate like an angel, like I am just like ecstatic. I'm so excited. <laughs> so next up we have Spanish prawns cooked with tequila. Uh, beautiful. Really smart choice. I really love how the flavor of the prawns comes through in this dish fully. Lastly, we have a halibut. This is cooked with sake. Love that little Japanese flavor. Puree is delicious, but too much creme fraiche in there. It looks like a meal kit, right? Like we're expecting presentations that go to the next level. No matter what the judges say, I got a dish on the plate. OK, so welcome to the top floor. And here we have a handmade chicken tagliatelle a la vodka. And handmade pasta. Handmade pasta. Wow. I'm going to throw out to the compliments choosing a freaking chicken tender. And I expected that to land down to the basement. Um, sauce delicious, but the magic is in what you've done with that pasta because it is beautiful, really beautiful. I'm feeling really proud of myself that I stepped out of my comfort zone. This is literally an ingredient I've never used before. I need to celebrate this um, ASAP. OK, here we have a smoked pork chop with a bourbon glaze, uh, onion soubise, and a bacon jam and blackberries. It's really sort of dancing across my palate. The freshness that comes across with these blackberries is absolutely phenomenal. The combination is beautiful. Pretty good job. All right, moving over here, we have our pan-roasted ribeye with port wine sauce. Uh, plantains, a little bit dull, if I'm honest. Love to see a little bit less black pepper on the carrots. I just, my palate's a little bit burned out from that. This looks a little bit too rustic and out of balance with some of the flavors. Lastly here, we have pan-roasted salmon with a white wine, for blanc, some sweet potato puree, and some chanterelles. Even though everything else on that plate is perfect, this is an alcohol rounds, and the ingredient that I forgot was the one with alcohol. That salmon is nailed. Um, do excuse me, you said beurre blanc. I'm not tasting the beurre blanc. They forgot it? Yeah, sadly. The chef missed the beurre blanc. Oh, man. Yeah. Classic white wine beurre blanc. Look at that. Wow. Texture really, really nice. Yeah. Wow. I want to taste it too. Wow. Honestly, the best thing for me was that white wine beurre blanc. I want Gordon Ramsay to come up to me right now with two pieces of white bread, slam them in my ears, and call me an idiot sandwich or a donut, whichever bread or pastry product he decides. Please, Naisha, Richard. I think I'm going to go into the furnace. I'm ready to go, too. Wow, some great dishes, let me tell you. Lamb rump uh, powdered mash. That's what this is all about, making the best out of any situation and yeah. taking powdered mashed potatoes, turning it into gnocchi, and then combining that with moonshine. That's something Naish Arrington would do, right? That's something Gordon Ramsay In a competition all day long. In a competition. <laughs> Let's talk about the Cornish hen. How does she get it so crispy? She's creating. It's fun to watch her cook. Prettiest plate. She has her own specific style she of does. plating. Chicken tenders, how do they pick that and turn that into something beautiful? It really was just about noodles and sauce. Dishes that didn't quite hit that mark. The hanger steak was slightly overcooked. It's got to be mid-rare. The ribeye wasn't great. The carrots were super spicy. Very. The salmon was cooked beautifully. It was. It's really And beautiful. the presentation was beautiful. Maybe Absolutely this chef's best-looking dish. It looked like the cover of a magazine. If that bird belonged, hit the plate. That, for me, is one of the outstanding dishes. Such a I smart grab. Slam dunk. If, if that were Blanc was on there, your top dish. Top dish. Right. Yeah. You're we'll right see. there. But that could, that could legit save you. Shall we? There was one great dish that saved their team and gets them into the top level kitchen next time round. And that dish was. Preston's. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Baby. You did it! You did it! You came out of your shell! Put your right hand up to God <laughs> and promise me you're 19 years of age. I am 19 years old. Powdered mashed potatoes. 
I'm definitely on cloud nine right now. Um, being 19 and winning the alcohol challenge, like that's that's crazy right now. We're on the top floor, Team Ramsey. I told you today. I told you we're going to the top. Head back to the lounge. Have a beer. No, Preston, don't have a beer. Uh, congrats. Thank well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Well done, all. Great job. Thank you. Dirty, dirty dog. There you go. Let's go, team. Four down, oh, baby. Oh, nice. All the way to the top. <laughs> now, Richard and Aisha, you have to select one individual from your teams to go head to head in a dreaded elimination. Naisha, I'm going to start with you. So today I'm going to choose the hanger steak. It's all about the ingredient grab and transforming them onto a plate. There's a little bit of a disconnect there. And I think everyone who's gone up to that kitchen and cooked in it has come out a stronger chef. Yes, chef. You got this, April. Richard, who is going up? against April in the elimination, please. If I hear Chef Blaze say my name, I'm not going to be happy. For me, it's going to be the dish. For me, it's going to be the dish that failed the assignment today and didn't get the alcohol on the plate. Chris, I'm putting you in the elimination. Yes, Chef. Chris, here's the thing. It's probably your best dish here, if you, if you got that sauce on there. You've been there before. You've come out of it before, just like April. Only one of you are going to come at it again today. Are you ready? Oh, I am absolutely ready for this. You're going to keep us four strong? I'm going to keep us four very strong. OK, Chris, April, you've both got one more shot to save yourselves in this competition. And it's all going to come down to your take on fish and chips. Fish and chips can be elevated to the next level. In fact, the majority of fine dining restaurants now are doing their take on fish and chips. This challenge is so far in my wheelhouse, I should be under the car itself, servicing it like a mechanic. You got this. You got this. Chris is an assassin. He is going to go in there for blood. Wish them good luck and head into that elevator. Let's go. But I feel confident. I'm definitely going to give Chris a run for his money. Good job, Team Blaze. Chris, join forces with April in the middle, sir. Thank you. Both of you are very talented chefs. You'll have 30 minutes to perfect a stunning fish and chips to keep yourselves in the competition. The very best of luck. I'll see you upstairs shortly. Thank you. Off you go. Go Let's get go, him, April. Chris. Let's go, Chris. You your got this. your texture, version of the fish and chips. flavor, sauce. Focus. Texture, flavor, sauce. Execute. Crispy Passion. chip. Nice crispy batter, Chris. You got this. Texture and flavor. Never happens. It's unreal. Yeah. I don't think you're as big as I as you come across. No, no. Try not to be, but... I am feeling so confident that I can take April down. And the very screwed up part about it is, I am excited to do that. I don't know I'm going with a wet batter because that's a winner, but I'm not going to be scared to season the f out of it. I love that confidence, girl. I have seen professional chefs with incredible skill, and I have seen them crumble. So we will let the chips fall where they may, literally. Uh, right, uh, I feel Fantastic. I shouldn't be this confident for an elimination. We're putting another body count up on Chris's tally board for people that he has sent away from elimination. I want to show people that I am not to be with. I grew up with fish and chips, so I'm expecting something magical. But put your twist on it. T, wish them all the very best, yes? Okay. If my children were here, they would remind me of every struggle that we've been through. And when they done that, this would seem like nothing. Off we go. Let's go. Let's go, April. Let's go, April. All right, Chris, you got this. There you go. Batter, fries, garnish, sauce, yes? Yes, Let's yes. go, guys. Come on, April, get that batter started. All right. 
Go to work. Let's yep. go to work. April, there's a can of beer. Can? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Tell me about the shit. Where are we going? I'm going to do a shoestring fry. Uh, haystack fry. Love that, love that. April's got this. April's got this. Fish and chips yeah. is directly up her wheelhouse. I have my game face on. I have a plan, and I'm executing the plan to a T. Hustle, hustle! You can run! Come on! Right, young man, how are you feeling? Fantastic, chef. Welcome Good. to the circus. We're gonna go with a curried fish and chips. It's gonna get a basil mayo. We're gonna do a spicy grabiche. We're gonna do a jardinier to go with it, and I'm gonna do palm go frets. You got time to do a great sauce grabiche? Hey, yes. Love that. Right. But just focus on the fish and chips, please. Yes, chef. Good. Yep. Beautiful. Now fold Beautiful. them in. Yeah. There you yeah, go. there you go. Yeah, that's gonna be a fluffy batter. Whipped egg rice will give Just it more nice structure. That is a gangster move. That right is there. a gangster move. Do that. Behind hot, behind hot. Chris seems to be in a complete panic. Behind, behind. I think he's scared. He is moving at a pace, though, man. Everyone's looking at me like I'm an absolute psycho. I, I, I get it. I gotta be honest with you. I feel like I'm going through freaking hell and back, but as long as I make it on the other side in one piece, I could be the next level chef. Ten minutes to go. Chris, sometimes you move too quickly. I really do. I want you to do well. Just slow the cadence down and focus on the standard, OK? I shall. You got this, yes? Yes, chef. OK. I sure as hell am going to take Chef Ramsay's advice and just dial back the quickness. Quickness is definitely what intimidates other people. I don't need to intimidate them. I need to be efficient, and I need to be on point. Nine minutes to go. Watch out, guys. Watch your backs, please. Crispy fish and chips. Yes, delicious fries and a wonderful Let's batter. Let's go, April. Let's go, baby. You okay? You good? Yes, I'm good. How's my fish over there? They're good. Beautiful. Coming you're to the top. You're flowing, so that means you're almost done. You're pretty good. It's Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, He looks like, like a mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Three and a half minutes to go. It's hurt. Come on, guys. Yeah. Coming up. Be high. Be high. Chris is going in there swinging his way out of the furnace. You guys saw the way I performed the last time around. That will happen again. Behind, yeah, behind, behind, behind. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we go. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. All right, what the f is that sauce? Wait, so you said he's making one with those eggs? Grimpish. Honestly, I thought it was sauce gravy. He's making like yes. an eggy tartar yes. sauce. That was a good idea. That Very was a good, good idea. Star place, let's go. Choose your cutest fish. Let's go, guys. Make it look cute. All right, one minute to go, guys. One minute, let's go. more out of him, really. Chris, you could have done better. Wow, Naisha. Richards, two great modern takes on fish and chips. Here we have a beauty battered fish with potato chips. This one is done with a basil aioli, sauce gabiche, and then a little pickle. Dig in, please, guys. And taste those sauces. Mm. It looks like maybe the fish wasn't dipped in flour first because you can see some of the flesh exposed. But I love the sauce and the fact that grabiche and tartar sauce are related. I like this a lot. Gravish is one of my favorite sauces, and I absolutely love the brightness and the acidity that comes from the pickled condiment here. So the second one, this is with curly fried potatoes, um, the beautiful batter uh, seasoned with lots of spice, grilled lemon, and a hot take on a tartar sauce. Please both dig in. Thank you.
The fish is cooked so well. I love the caramelized uh, lemon. Gives it a really unique taste there. And curly fries, I haven't seen it with fish and chips. Batter's a, a little soft, but it's a take on fish and chips. It looks crispy, but when I break into the fish, it's immediately soggy. Okay, Richard, uh, Naisha, two phenomenal takes on fish and chips. I need to know now which dish you're sending home. For me, it's the fish and chips and curly fries. I enjoy the batter less on this fish and chips. Richard, tough choice. Which one are you sending home? I feel like one dish did a better job with the chips and one did a little bit of a better job with the fish. The sauce work was excellent both. These. The dish that I'm eliminating is the fish with the curly fries. That dish belongs to April. Oh, dear. Oh, man. It's been a pleasure to mentor you. You started cooking out of the trunk of your car into a full-fledged catering business. Yes. April, I just have to say, I'm extremely proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself at how far you came into this competition. Thank you, Chef. For me, personally, you're going out on a high. Thank you so much. This has been way more than I ever expected, and I have learned so, so, so much. You three are incredible, but they're what I was really here for, I found out, so. Everybody's crying. That's our Southern Belle right there, you know what I mean? This is an incredible bunch. I feel exhilarated because I just went up against one badass professional chef. But I gave him a run for his money, so I will take that. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Not only surviving elimination, but taking your team up into the middle sector. Well done. Good job. Thank you. Let's see if we can too. I'm just going to keep getting more wins under this belt, I promise you. It was awesome. We are traveling at 1,000 miles an hour. Do not take your foot off the gas. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Good night. Nice. That's well done. Thank you, sir. Next time on Next Level Chef. Go, 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 go! Today, you'll all be creating a next level fish dish. Let's go, baby, let's go! Onto the base, oh let's God. go! Let's bury those top floors, guys. Yes, Chef! Blaze, what'd you get? God. You What? Turn your heat down. Let's go, this is not a game. All your pancetta's on the floor over here. What the? Ah, my pancetta!